Our next guest is a very special one. Yaakov Avimor is not just one of Israel's leading attorneys in the field of medical negligence. He's also a poet and publisher, and he's here with us today to discuss his newest publication of poetry entitled, You Are an Anchor for Me. Thanks for right. joining us. Okay. So Yaakov, what message do you want to convey in your book, and how did you come up with this, you know, very personal title, You're an Anchor for Me? Well, I have a problem with the time. I'm trying to stop it. I do the extremes. All my life, I, uh, I ride a bike, I ride, a, and I do all kind of is, is extreme uh, sports and so forth. So mainly my feeling I'm trying, I know I cannot, it's a specific effort, but I want to stop the time and to achieve, as I'm an extreme guy, to achieve whatever I can in the short time that is granted to us. So right. This is the, so, so tell us a little bit about yourself and what drove you to becoming a writer. Obviously, that's different. Well, from I'm a mixture of cultures because I was, you know, raised in Africa and Western Africa. I uh, learned to to love the French uh, culture and the African culture. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, my family is a well-rooted family in Israel, eighth generation, and uh, I love the extreme and all this. I think, uh, with co combination with my being a lawyer and litigator. Uh, brought about, I think, uh, you know, the poems and 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 the, and the struggle against the, the time and showing love, and, and 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 against routine. I think the routine is killing our soul, and this is the main item that uh, is in and my so, book. So those are clearly some of the themes that we we're going to see in this uh, specific publication. But sure. what do you have in store for us in the future? What can we expect? Well, this is my second book, and the third one will be for children. I think that uh, you know. The children are so innocent, and uh, and I feel that this is something that I can uh, I can uh, you know tell them something from an, another angle uh, about the time and love which was not regularly done in, for children. So this is my well, absolutely. Idea. I mean, just explaining the concept of time is so yes. difficult for children. So I know that I would love to read this. Do you, is there a copy in English or only in Hebrew? No, it's, unfortunately, it's, as yet, it's only All in right, Hebrew. All right, so we'll wait for the translation. Sure. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.